Welcome to Bengal Flood presents MMA Cup Pakistan versus Afghanistan all the action live from Sharjah Cricket Stadium The toss was won by Afghanistani captain and uh, Afghanistan elected to make use of this uh, good looking uh, batting track Lovely shot through the onside First boundary Umar Gul just getting a bit too straight it's up Ish, but he's found the gap. One piece of fielding, but they're back for three. What a great start. Took that just in front of square on the onside. It's a long chase, and it's a fruitless one. Once as a batsman, you're able to middle the ball and time the ball. You'll be rewarded. Both these batsmen that like to hit the ball on the onside. A boundary each from these batsmen now. Wow, what a fantastic shot. No respect for Bahar Riaz. Shimmy down the track, flat batted it for four runs. This throw should give him a lot of confidence. That's in the air. A soft dismissal. Yes, he was into that stroke slightly early. And also started on the queue, that's why. <laughs> well, where is that gone? Right in the middle of the bat. That's not fair, is it? <laughs> that is not fair. A guy who has uh, bowled so well against England, no respect at all. That was not in the slot at all, it was... Uh, Dropped, is he? It's off the middle of the bat. Look at that, and it went really flying to Yunus Khan. It's normally a very safe pair of hands. Nicely tucked away. We'll reach the boundary. Another boundary for Afghanistan. They're looking good. Edged and four. The viewers would like to know that there are changes in the rules since October 2010. Another glorious looking shot and he's living up to it. There it is. Avani's favor. Whoa, whoa, take that, <laughs> take that. <laughs> That's a brave stroke, although the fielders were inside the circle, so he could afford to hit that one, but nobody thought. Nicely caught, very nicely caught. Much of the credit should go to that young man who leapt in the air, Asad Shafiq. Rolled over and on your way, mate. Now that's better, that's on the ground. Didn't really look to hit it over. I, I'm a bit tired, burnt out. That's poor effort from Said Ajmo. Could have easily been stopped, but uh, not the best of the effort. Bowled him, bowled him. Better, lot more uh, responsibility from him, but that was a poor shot. It was a, it was a straighter delivery. It wasn't a googly. What's going on, he's saying. Fantastic, six more. Full blooded, no holding back at all. Oh! Oops. How on earth is that missed leg stump? There was a wood clank. Yes, and clearly hit the stumps, but <laughs> did not dislodge the bales. What's happening? Why are we? You don't see that very often, do you? Luncheon and tea breaks fielding. <laughs> I think he's picked up a good catch here. Very nicely done by Umar Akmar. And Afridi once again has picked up a wicket. Being undone by a flighted one, which was the wrong one. Didn't spin much. Saw the width, went after it. And neatly collected by the keeper. Good regular member of this one day side. Now oh, that's Ash, and I think it got the gloves of the keeper. Did this one carry? It did, no, it did not carry actually. There was no glove. Well, oh, that's nicely worked away into the onside. It's 
timed it beautifully. And it brings up the 100. Four runs. Just broke the shackles a little bit. Oh! Heel for LBW and he's gone. Batsmen looking for a little bit of spin, not there, would have gone on to shatter the stumps. And Simon Toffel had an easy. Afridi starting his eighth over. Out he comes, up she goes. And that is over long on for six. Flat back at the ball for six runs. It's a lovely shot. Every time they have looked to play the stroke, execution was excellent. Down the track, it's a big shot, big hit, six. Magnificently done. Batsman using his feet, getting to the pitch. Hit it hard, and that went long way. Look, I agree, I agree with you. Chance of a run out is gone, is he? The non-striker trying hard. Has he made his ground? No, he's short of it. Yes, the red light is on. The red signal is... Uh... The lovely, delicate late cut. Outfield fast. Four runs. Picked up the Dusra very early. Got into a nice position to dab the ball towards third man for four runs. And that'll be four more. Not off the middle of the bat, but very effective. To get the same result. Second boundary. Second successive boundary for the batsman. Sir Faraz Nawaz and Imran oh! Khan hunting in pairs. And in the process, Pakistan has picked up seventh wicket. Shahid Afridi gets another five wickets haul. The googly, I think. Yeah, comes back. Late on the shot. Swept and swept nicely for four runs. Well, after block, block. Now it's bash. Fantastic strike. Six more. Because he wasn't allowed to repeat the strike. What was his job? And he finally decided. Remarkable. They surely know how to execute this stroke, don't they? Wahab Riyaz into the attack from the far end. In the air, one, two, third bounce into the fence. Bowled him! A great feeling. That is what the pace bowlers want. The middle stump cartwheeling. <laughs> Appeal for LBW, and that's going to be out. Yes, he is. Bit of improvisation, though. Uh, I think he didn't make a contact. Would have gone on to crash the stumps. Gone for the appeal and given out, and that ends the innings also. Afghanistan then bowled out for 195. Puller in length. And... Uh, outside edge and uh, cleanly taken by Umar Akmal and in the end ended with a dignified 195 Left up. they're defending then 195 Afghanistan has pulled it pulled it and pulled it into the gap first boundary for Pakistan nothing for bowling short on this surface yes you've got to be very very careful especially against uh, Mohammad Afiz he loves it uh, anything short no, he's bowled him. Fantastic. Off the inside edge. Against the bowler. This one was a touch short and a touch quicker. Couldn't really control it. And after all the pressure that was built up, a bad delivery. That's sweet. Little bit of width. Took advantage of it. And picks up a boundary. Here's the free hit slower ball but it's been carved through the onside for four very nicely clipped off the toes and it's gone for four you have to be outside the off stump good effort there it's a quick outfield 
Yes, looked very confident. And the third man fielder is supposed to stop the boundary. Oh, needless. Needless. Edged. It's going down towards deep third man. Four runs. That's close. That's close. He's given. It's always a danger of planting your foot outside the off stump. As a batsman, you have to play your play the ball around your pads. He finally gets one through. Got plenty of time to hit that ball. A poor miss by the fieldsman. Help in round for getting his second boundary. Clearly a run up at all. And that's for Beautiful shot. Eunice Khan at his very best. And short straight away. And clobbered through the covers for four. Oh, it's just got a hand to that, I think. But more than a hand to it, in fact. The captain, Nuraz Mangal, it's gone for four. An attempted on drive, not timed at all. Captain having to time his leap. Got both hands to it. Hamza Hotak. Yeah. Swept powerfully out to deep backwards square leg for four more. Struggling with the line there. Hamza Hotak. Too straight. Um, and, the, and they're a very talented bunch of cricketers. And that's four more. It's a dangerous line to be bowling. Certainly as far as the bowling side is concerned. And I think there might have to be a reassessment of the field here. Whipped away, third four in the over, and that's 50 for Imran Fahad. That's it. <laughs> Out! What? That was a short delivery. They had been quiet for some time, and this is a soft dismissal, oh dear. As if he's get, giving catching practice, and thank you very much, says Shimbari. Bispa gets off the mark and he gets it off in style and it's four runs. Pakistan post the 100. There it is. Gave himself room to play that shot and then guided it. In fact, he timed it. He placed it well. That's going to be some runs there. In fact, four of them. And uh, Yunus Khan, I don't think he's going to miss out on those deliveries. This runs in the air, but safe down towards deep and wide. He's taking full advantage, isn't it? Uh, Yunus Khan is toying it now. Pulled it from outside the off-stone. There you go. Got to the pitch of the ball very, very quickly. Counter! Counter! Yunus in full cry. There it is again. Lofted. Nowhere near the fielder. Go in when... Oh, over the top. That's gone huge. That is uh, straight into the crowd. I think somebody caught it. There it is. Up, up, up. And down into the crowd. They need some wickets, Afghanistan, if they're going to make an impression. He's been impressive too. Edged. Dropped. In this sort of situation, in any sort of situation, those are the chances that have to be taken. A firm-footed drive, and in football parlance, just pushed around the post. A bit slow to react, maybe. And what a beautiful way to reach his half-century. Punch down the ground. Clipped away into the gap between mid-wicket and mid-arm. That'll be four more. Driven powerfully through the covers. And that's four. He didn't falter on that occasion, Yunus Khan, in the last over. He managed to edge the ball. And he was 
dropped by the wicketkeeper this time around made sure and that is in the air and it's over the rope he either blocks or bashes it for six or sixes and fours good try from the fielder he almost well he got it actually that is wonderful athletic stuff full toss and that one gets the treatment it deserved <laughs> four runs from the moment it left the bat Miss Bain Yunus provide a lot of stability to the uh, batting lineup, especially in the middle order. They are bankable characters. Yunus Khan has been in fine touch, match winning 100 the other day against England, that sealed the series 3-0. And here came in the Afghani supporters came in large numbers. So did the Pakistanis. River sweep, and that is it. Four runs, and as umpire Frank Chester used to say, that, ladies and gentlemen, ends the entertainment for the day. Well, Mesba clinches the game with his signature lap sweep, and Pakistan win by seven wickets. But I'm sure uh, Pakistan would, at the end of the piece, have a lot of respect for uh, Afghanistan talent. They may have gone down in this game, but clearly I think uh, they've given a good account of their abilities. Been great ambassadors for the sport of Afghanistan. Even though Afridi picked up five wickets, but I was pretty impressed with how they played Saeed Ajmal. Saeed Ajmal was all over England in that series, but today he was put away for fours, even for a fantastic reverse six. But man of the moment, clearly Yunus Khan, outstanding innings once again.